How's it going? Ryan here with Drag Inspire Gaming, and we're back with another episode of The Council. Now, in the last episode, we, uh, we learned that our mother was into some, some weird stuff. People were trying to kill her. We realized that we have a voice that is very out of character for how we look. Um, but yeah, we got a little bit of a feel for the mechanics of this game and, and the precedence, of the, precedence of, of the game, which is our mother's missing, we got to figure out what's going on, and there's a lot of creepy people around. So let's just hop right in and see where the story continues to take us. Okay. Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. Hey, we get to be able to translate. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Words to live by. So Lord Mortimer is a uh, Lord Mortimer is immune to conviction. Let's see if there's anything over here. Since after all, this is where our mother's handkerchief was found. Let's see, what do we got here? Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Well, that's helpful. Alright, looks like there's not a whole lot going on on the dock. So let's go, let's go to the party. Oh, what's this? This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Does it now? Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Awesome. Okay, so we do got to find out more about Mama. Where were you, Mother? Perhaps down here. Mommy! Mommy, where are you? Please come to me. I'm your loving son. A wooden floorboard. Uh, we don't have vigilance a lot. Don't have vigilance, so we can examine or stand back. Probably we... comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Hmm. Okay. So this is where our skills that they were referring to would come into play. Luckily, we know how to pick it. Uh, there we are. <laughs> Easy. Let's see what we got behind door number two. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. All right, so now we got the ability to restore our points. But don't tell me wasted stuff picking that lock to get in here for just that. Amber fragments. You just found an amber fragment. <clears throat> Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Sweet. Amber. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh -huh. Examine the barrel. What do we hear? It's cannon powder. Hmm, 
My powder is wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. Yes, I need my mummy. Okay, so it looks like mom was down here. She got her pistol. She's using cannon powder, which I don't know why he's calling it that, because that's just black powder. And she's got it loaded into the gun. That should be enough for us to progress, I would believe. Let us find out. Look for more clues or go to the manor. I think we'll go to the manor. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? The answer, dear boy, is money and lots of it. I'm coming, Mommy. Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada Dedice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope, but I haven't seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. <clears throat> All right, confrontations. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much, how much the person you are talking to is convinced. Thank you, my son. Cool. Bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son your mother in the highest of God. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> Only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certain. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Okay. Difficulty three. Our business is confidential. Uh, occultism is only level one. This is difficulty three, so it may fail. Let's give it a go. Be it mother or myself, our motto has always been discretion in all things. And to promise to never betray a word of honor. Was your secret safe with mother? It will be even more so with me. You have convinced me. The mystery with which your mother manages her business proves that she carries your motto close to her heart. Your words seem sincere, my son. Of course they do. 
It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, uh, we have always dealt with her in person, uh, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? What do we got here? Questioning locked. Pretend you don't want it. There we go. <laughs> I had to eat some jelly. Look, you seem hesitant. The simplest thing to do is just to give it to her when you see her. After all, it's not that urgent. Yes. I mean, yes, it's urgent. I mean, what if we don't find each other here on the island? Though I don't know yet when I'll be leaving. I might not be staying for very long. Hmm, what to do? Can you see a solution? Come on, just give me the letter for crying out loud. Yeah, my thoughts exactly, sir. I am going to trust you. You seem like an honest man. Boom. Bingo. Got it. Listen to me. Got him. Can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? For the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person that you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad one, the step will repeat itself until you either give a right one or you have no blunders left. Ooh. Oh, that one would totally be wrong. Your but we're going to do it anyways. That is just not possible for me. Why is that? I have always had a Cartesian mind, and I won't make false promises. I respect you too much for that. I spend my time trying to find logical and reasonable answers to problems which, at first glance, seem supernatural. I'm not saying I don't believe in God as a concept. I just don't believe in the God of your sacred texts. And... I don't want to lie to you. Even though your answer does shock me, my son, I shall only hear your honesty. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Ricci. Of course you are. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. Letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. Will do. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Can't, I'm out of points. Well, let's have a look see around anyways. Lives of the noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography the great men opened Brutus's page Caesar stabbed by multiple blows at once sees Brutus raise the dagger on him then covering his head with his robe he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators nice family <laughs> let's keep it might come in handy someday that's right you know because when you go to somebody that's super powerful's mansion first thing you do Start sticking stuff in your coat. 
Manuscripts. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. All right, cool. So we got some RPG elements going on. I like it. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President of the United <laughs> States of America. All right, we got Georgie boy. Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time, there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Uh, let's say... my mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Um, let's, we can't let her know it's missing, because then the Cardinal will know we were lying. Like you, Mr. So we President, invented something. I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. <laughs> that is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Got him. Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Okay, so apparently the Golden Order is going to be what this game is referring to as the Masons. As it's known that, you know, George Washington was a very high member of the Masons. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. 
If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Hmm. -mm. So what should we do? Should we discover what Holmes knows about your mother? Or should we stay and listen to Washington? Well, he loves to gossip, and he is a very high-ranking member of the same order as my mother. Whereas he is a creepy French dude that's wearing way too much lead paint makeup. I could probably catch something if I spit there talking to him. So we'll stay and listen with Washington. See what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. That's right. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will hmm. do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Sounds a little shady. You seem to be very familiar with my mother. Let's see, how did he come to know her? When did he see her for the last time? Well, he says he just found out she was missing, so we're Where gonna go here. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without <laughs> heads. What was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Let's see. Do others in the order... Let's see. Do the others in the order know, do you think? What if mother has left the island? Hmm. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. 
I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. <laughs> Thank you, Captain oh, Obvious. Me. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> 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 It You're is so art. funny, sir. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. <laughs> so, who was that young lady with you? Uh, I don't have high enough skills. Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Man, we're getting a lot of missed opportunities here. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? All right, guys, that seems like a good a place as any to end it. The story is definitely picking up. Uh, so it looks like we're, we're definitely doing the secret society thing, and <laughs> they're kind of doing a little tongue-in-cheek reference to the Freemasons, um, especially using George Washington. Like, that's a little obvious. And, uh, yeah, so it's so far we've got RPG elements, we've got in-depth storytelling, we've got choices and consequences... I mean, outside of the really poor voice acting on the main character, it, it's, it's really shaping up to be something awesome. And I'm very much interested in seeing where this story goes. Will we find our mother? Is our mother dead? Will we unravel the secrets of the society, secret society that we're in? Maybe we'll take over the world. Who knows? We could just end up dead. But if you guys want to check it out and see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next episode. I'm out.